Good morning, everybody. I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be going through the local chart here to begin with on Bitcoin, then moving on to a bit of a more swing traders perspective. Uh, I want to start off with, as we're seeing a pullback from this level, uh, the reason why you're rejecting from where you are right now. And that is really simply, well, well, I really, really like to go through this. And this is known as like the fixed range. And what we have here is, is a range really that we can see a, a start of the range to where we are now. So we're clicking from the start to the end. You can see here how you come into this point of control. So this is our point of control where the most volume is transacted. And you can see here really clearly how you've come into that level. And then you've, you know, pretty simply, you've hit that level and you've got the pullback rejection off of that level. So I think locally here, we have a nice potential range forming where we have a really a bit bigger resistance, in my opinion, anyway, is coming in at around $13,900. And then the support coming in off of that was 618, which is $13,600. Okay, so you've got a, about, about a $300 range in here. And then obviously the point of control there, just really nice how it just gave a trade just then is is off of that, that about, about $13,800 more or less. Okay, so I think that that's how I would pretty simply uh, dissect to the current range that we're in where I've got a pretty strong resistance. I've got a pretty strong support. I've got almost the middle of the range being the point of control. Uh, another level that I can, you know, take trades off of. There's been two trades this morning. I'll show you the other one, which was a long and that was actually going from this low back up into the high. And you see how you come to, down into the CC. If we just put on the CC template, you see how you come into the CC. And let's just let's just load up that, that range one more time. OK, so we are then seeing this from here to here. How we got, you know, the pretty nice where you come into. OK, you got your pullback around 9 a.m., 10 a.m. into the CC. From the CC, we're coming into the point of control. And then from that point of control, we've got another pullback obviously through that CC now. So I think pretty, uh, I think you can agree, uh, pretty technical range that we're going on, that we're having here in terms of support, acting as support, resistance, acting as resistance. Okay. So I think that's that's fairly nice. Uh, you've got a few more levels in, in and around this region, but um, that, that, that's more of a local term perspective to, to begin with. Uh, the next one that I want to go over is actually this harmonic pattern. So let's just load this up. So you can see, well, let's let's begin this. So this was found on the 30th. We're now obviously on the oh yeah, so first of November today. I hope that you're all having a good <laughs> good first of the month. Uh obviously Halloween last night and all that last night. Um anyway, um yeah, so I, I saw this on the 30th, and this this is a harmonic pattern. So I, I think that harmonic patterns right now are just Oh, they're just so uh, amazing. Obviously, they're based off of Fibonacci, which I've always loved. But why I was highlighting this harmonic on the, on the 30th was, was for the fact that we had, um, if we just made this bigger, we had from X to A, this quick move to the downside. Then we pull back up the B, obviously coming into the 786 with the swing failure pattern. And you get the move down for C really quick as well. So you've also got this XA equals BC. And then you're looking for this move, obviously, back up for D, which is coming in at around $14,000. And obviously, we, we can add this back onto the chart. You know, it actually traded really nice. And I'll, I'll highlight this to you a little bit better when we pull the free from the low, from the high there to the low, sorry. And we put on just our standard. You can see 786 resistance. And I think this is what I was saying, you know, um, when I was taking the long of the 786, it's, it's kind of like the first thing that comes to my mind. I'm like, oh, harmonic, oh, harmonic. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty good at recognizing harmonics early sort of thing. And this was an early harmonic that I recognized and it, it was primarily off of the B. Okay. So once I had that B, I was able to recognize, okay, we're likely then to find support back on, on, on the flip side of this, obviously coming for the C. You can see that you had a confluence of supports here. You also had the, the CC really simply when you take this from low back up into the high and you're adding on the CC, you can see that you have the confluence here. Okay, of your support, support, you know, you have like you know, three different supports here. And obviously then you're looking up for that about fourteen thousand dollars, which which you know, let's be honest, hit hit pretty nicely. Um, as you rejected the high there being, let's just see exactly the high there being uh fourteen thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. So I think that I think that's I think that's a nice way to begin uh <laughs> begin <laughs> begin the weekend where you're starting to see, okay, locally here on on a you know five 15 minute chart we've got great technical 
support bounces, support resistances. And then on the flip side, bringing it up to like a one hour chart, we're also getting Fibonacci giving us really, really, really nice harmonics. And then not only giving us support areas, but then also giving us resistance areas. You know, I've, I think I've said it before, that I feel that there's a big resistance, $14,300 to $14,600, okay? And, you know, above that $15,000. But um, on the flip side, we, well, the, the, the thing is that this is now moving on to a, a swing trader's perspective. But you, you got to think at the time, th when you get these moves to the downside, when you get these moves to the downside, I'm not sure, you know, I guess I am I am sure why it happens. But people just get very emotional. So you get a quick move to the downside. Instead of looking for longs, people are like, all right, I'm going to start looking for shorts here. It's just, it's just trading works off of emotions, okay? And it's very emotionally driven. And if you can conquer the emotions, I suppose, and trade the charts, and that's easier said than done for, you know, many people struggle with this especially newer traders and this is why you have to you know you know get past it but nevertheless have these quick moves to the downside quick moves to the downside everybody's gets you know starts to flip a little bit bearish at support and this is the thing like this this region obviously is support this region is obviously resistance so myself personally i would not be buying up here because this for me is a take profit zone off of a resistance region just like on the flip side down here this is a support zone so that i would not be interested in shorts down here for a swing trade and i would not be interested in longs up here for a swing trade you know you got to be looking for your longs when you if and when you drop this is when you look for longs and when you when you reach them back into resistances this is obviously where you look for take profits you know shorts are debatable whether you look for, for, for shorts um it's obviously a little, little bit more personal but um i think that that's the way that you got to approach the chart you got to be I guess I, I I don't want to make this video too long, but you've got the news. Obviously, the UK has just gone into a new lockdown. Okay, and that comes into effect on Thursday, so that's a full lockdown for for England. And this is obviously happening to many other countries. So this is obviously viewed as a bit more bearish. You got the US elections next week, and I I am personally really really looking forward to trade that because we can almost guarantee there's going to be a lot of volatility for it. So I myself am really, really, really looking forward to next week because I feel that we're going to get big volatility. Um, I think you've got to be prepared all, all the time. You've got to be prepared for a big move to the downside, whether it gets bored up or not. Um, I think the, the, the real important thing, you know, not only next week, but all the time is, is risk management. You know, if you haven't got stop losses, if you, if you haven't got the correct position sizes, if you have not got a plan, then I think you're going to fail, whether this moves up or down. You, you, eventually, you're going to fail. You know, people can make money on this uprise because let's be honest, it's not it's not really that hard. Um, you know, lots of people have made money the past month. But th let's be honest, when and you know, when a drop comes, the majority of people don't take profits, the majority of people see really nice gains, and then they actually see the gains turn to losses. Uh it's the same sort the same story time and time and time again. People get so greedy, uh greedy at the highs and fearful at the lows. You know, and this is where you get these harmonic patterns, this is where you get these sort of plans. Uh, for safe to say they would work out well um so yeah that, that's kind of my analysis that i wanted to give you this morning we obviously got this this important support 13,600 resistance 13,900 almost the point of control coming in there 13,800 that's the local range uh that, that i, I want to go through in this video i will end by saying this um if you want to go through tonight uh you know the first of november i'm, I'm doing a champions live stream which will be a swing traders live stream where I will trade live Bitcoin uh, for a swing trade. I will go through my technical analysis and then give an entry, a stop loss and a take profit. And uh, this is obviously primarily for your education. So you can see how I take the trade, how I get to these ideas, how I get to these plans. Um, so if you're interested in knowing my trading plan uh, for the week to come, then that's what I will be doing in tonight's live stream um, for, for the for the champions uh this is obviously a service we offer primarily focused obviously on education uh, it's about teaching you how to pull these fibs how to do these harmonics uh, you know they, they work so well obviously not just that but we got the um order flow software that we that we go through and you know there's so much to go through but uh if you're interested in that then then that's something that's a service we offer um if not then i suppose hope that you've enjoyed this video me showing you a few of the technicals through the trades and um hope you have a brilliant week ahead and hope you're looking forward to next week as much as i am with the volatility that, that we are.
probably due for. Uh, so I hope that you've enjoyed. Thank you so much and have a great day. Cheers. Bye.